good afternoon, good evening. Um, Y'all do realize it's a Wednesday and we have Gallis Wednesdays tonight. Next level bar and lounge, 441 State Route 7, um, Fort Lauderdale. Everybody know the spot. Formerly called Salt Rock. Big up the Canada crew. Big up everybody. Um, when I realize uh, the present government of Jamaica with the Prime Minister Andrew Olness in a big trouble. You realize the trouble damn foot? I don't know realize it. When you realize, I don't know realize it. Now, I've come to the conclusion, right? That you people and me, in terms of vision, are they on the same level. No disrespect to my followers and nobody where I watch it live, but it's clear so me and Uno no have the same sight. It's obvious that I am seeing way beyond the present time. Like today, me see two years ago already. Zin? Don't know if you recall when me say the best thing for the Prime Minister do is just step down as Prime Minister, remain as an MP and make somebody else lead. You don't have to remember this, you know. I know every time somebody in a position to lead means that they're my leader. I want to understand what I'm saying because sometimes we say some things people don't understand. It's not every time that somebody is in the position to lead means that they are a leader. If you don't understand that, let me know if you don't understand what that means. Okay, let me break it down for those who don't understand. Sometimes, you have a person with leader ingredients. See? Meaning smartness, IQ, vision, decision making, all of that. But they are not equipped with the financial support or the public platform or the things that can make the world see them as a leader. See? So what happened is they are aligned with somebody who has the financial support, the public platform, the fanfare and everything. Now the person with the public fanfare and the money and everything listens to this leader. This leader now becomes an advisor to the person with the amenities where a leader should have. Not the gifts in it. Because he not have the gifts, he doesn't have the money, the connection, and the platform. Right? Now, obviously, the Prime Minister does not know how to lead. It's obvious. And what's very dangerous for him, the Prime Minister, is that those who are advising him don't have the ingredients to lead either. You want to understand what I'm saying now? Meaning, sir, Andrew Wallace, the Prime Minister, don't have the ingredients to lead. He may have the position to lead, but he don't have the ingredients to lead. And whosoever, see, whosoever he might take advice from, don't have the ingredients to lead either because they might lead him in the wrong place. Love Kelly about some badges. Big up yourself. I am just saying, when you are not 
blessed with the ingredients of leading you have to surround yourself with people who can lead so that them can advise you on how to lead properly if me to speak the truth Mr. Andrew Onis is literally embarrassed himself. He just embarrassed himself. And the weird thing about this, you know, he might destroy the Jamaica Labour Party. Because let's be honest, if an election call right now, Labour lose flying, Jamaica Labour Party lose flying. So, the Prime Minister not only had destroyed theme credibility, he's also destroying the credibility of the Jamaica Labour Party. He might make even Labour right a lose faith in the Jamaica Labour Party. Now, this has been happening for some time. Because there are people before him who discredit the credibility of the Jamaica Labour Party. Me as a PNP can tell him. Bruce Golden was before Andrew. Now, if you remember clearly, Bruce started doing some things where did unacceptable and did look away. Between Bruce and Desmond McKenzie, them do the people them some things where make people did the hate labor right one of the main things with them do them destroy the heartbeat of the jamaica labor party which is tivoli garden and how them deal with the situation with dodos see they make the people them lose faith in the jamaica labor party that's why bruce golden side fit to um step down and leave politics and then came Andrew right now my advice to Andrew is to follow suit do like where Bruce did do it will get too much and it too heavy for him and him step left it and give it to you obviously you ten times worse than Bruce You understand? So, my thing is, I don't think Andrew will follow ego or what people are going to say or what your family are going to say or people are going to look at you different. Just step down as Prime Minister, give somebody else a chance. It's too much for you. You see, I get overwhelmed. I like go and say, Sep, what do you mean? mix up two months in a one when I make a speech and I make. It's overwhelming. It a it a it a pressure your brother. I don't know nothing if you leave the job. I know I'm not black nobody today. Anybody want to comment and trace off of them business. Cause me just a speak for the people them and me just attack from my heart and me I try advise Andrew without even speaking directly to Andrew, but I still Andrew may attack to like if it's too much for you bro, leave it. I did have a BMW I gave a small synopsis of one of my story. I had a BMW and I first met that story. Nice car, look good. PA girl want me, me I drive it. Everywhere I drive it and pull up, the respect different, everything different. I love it. But every drive me drive it puncher. Not meaning puncher like a nail running it or something. Because a low profile tire on the front of the beam are heavy. And Jamaica Road full of patrol and sleeping police and ill and gully. And once you run over a bump and it shifts the tire, it makes the tire by your drive got the tire rip up. So me I spend 21000 per tire. For the month, me I buy three, four tire. Then me I fix rim. Five grand for crack and three grand a bend. One rim of all four bend and two crack and them things. So for the entire month, 
I spend close to 200 or 200,000 pound wheel alone. I don't have no engine problem, I don't have nothing. It was becoming overwhelming. Because I realized I spend more money on a vehicle than what I spend on the house where I live in. The car I take more than my rent for the month. More than two times my rent for the month. So it never makes sense. You understand me, I say? So, what did I have to do? For my own sake and my own safety and my own sanity, I had to let go of that BMW. Not because it had the engine problem, not because it not look good, not because it not hot, not because it not sexy, but for my own sanity. See? So, I am just saying, to Mr. Oldest now. This thing here is definitely too much for your uncle. Because we just speak generally how you deal with the big C situation. We not touch crime yet, you know. We not touch the inflation and the high prices for electricity and water, you know. We not talk about them something there yet, you know. We don't talk about the problem with the cockpit country yet, you know. And the bag of things they must sell out. We don't address the, the airport or gone to the Mexicans. They not, like, bro, it's not making any sense. It not making any sense, Mr. Wallace. I mean, I talk to you in a disrespectful manner or nothing like that. I'm just saying, be a man about it. If you cannot manage the job, bro, give it to somebody else. I must say this numerous times already. I say it before it reach Yasser, you know. Remember, I say, I say it before it reach Yasser. Me already say, give up the position. Still be an MP, but give the leadership of the country to somebody else. You cannot handle it. You cannot. You're frustrated. You're overwhelmed. You don't know what the right thing to do. When you come out now on your speech, them and your public notification, you now make no sense. Abby, big up. You now do the right thing, Andrew. Now, the latest hooray is one of your MPs on a lockdown day. They might have them private party wherever they might have it. And him stupidly enough, I rejoice and I put up say lockdown day and big up shower, 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 shower. The reason why I'm the able to do that, you know. The reason why he was able to do that is because he knows say all I want to go out with is just a charade, it's just a facade. So that's why I feel comfortable for you to do that. You see? Don't get me wrong, you know. I'm wrong, you know, every way, you know. I'm wrong, you know, every way. But I'm a follow suit. I'm the first politician to keep party during lockdown. I'm the first politician to a, a, a party and a show so they exercise them powers. You understand what I say? Him just, the person who have it, it looks like him didn't even know so they have it. And the person video it and put it out, which I am glad for. Because if it never put out, people wouldn't see what they really are going with. So the problem is not this disease here, you know. Because obviously, we don't care about the disease. Because we don't live on our own little personal life. We don't have an agenda towards the public. But in our private domain, we don't do what we feel. So it's not about no disease. These things we are not implement is not about the disease. And people are realize now, say it's not about the disease. Which we already know, me already know that already. Now, one of the reasons why I think you're not going to want to resign. Because there are some consequences and there are some benefits where you get as prime minister. Now, a lot of people don't know, right? A lot of people don't know. My my thing is, if you force this minister to resign, 
you, Mr. Olney, should resign as well. Along with a lot more people within the party that should resign. You understand? So, thing when me know you're not going to resign for, and you're not going to give up the post for. When you're not Prime Minister, if you are not the present Prime Minister, certain world privileges does not apply to you. No. I got to talk this, and I just say it go. I got to just talk it. No, I make the people them understand what's really happening. Zin? Numerous amount of politicians are under the telescope where the United States of America is concerned. They are under observation for a big fraud. We're going one big money laundering scheme. We're going now. Some of them visa get take away. Some of them lose them job. You have some working at the bank who help make the thing happen. See? And some of them are high ranking government members. When you see the news, them, this is nothing where, this is nothing where, just foot alone, no. But people not pay attention. It was in the news. Couple of them visa take away. Reason why the Prime Minister visa not take away is because he's actually the Prime Minister at the moment. More pay attention to what I say. The present Prime Minister can't lose him visa. You want to pay attention? The present Prime Minister can't lose him visa. That's why the urgency was put into the last election and all of that money was spent. It was the biggest handout ever gave for the last election. You know. Everybody get money. You know. People get free gas. You know. You got a gas station, you just got full up your tank and gone, you know. Certain gas station under the, the program, them get money, them get people get every done get called and get money for give people in them constituency and them here because they had to win the election. You understand? It was a must for them win the election. Cause if they lost the election, a lot of these MPs that you see, including the Prime Minister would have probably been in Bangor and Ghana, US. You understand what I say now? Now the regular man on the street don't understand. That's something that... So now, when these disease speculations are come, if you notice, every time the American government make a speech towards this disease thing. The Jamaican government follow protocol. The American government announced that they're coming to winter and they want to implement new joke and bag of thing for the season to protect you from rate AT. You notice the uh, broker in his speech mentioned the same thing. If you are, if you are pay attention. When the member said, Bro, God mentioned the same thing, said that come up to a particular season and protecting yourself is the most important thing to do. While Joe Biden said the same thing, when you not follow, when you not pay attention. So, enough of the things them where Andrew implement and I say to do. He not really want to do it, but he might try to protect him own self. Because the problem bigger than just we. But he's willing to sacrifice the people for him own a good. You understand? For him own escape of problems. Him willing to sacrifice the people them. And I just mean him have a problem now. I just mean him have a problem. Bro, step down as Prime Minister and go face your problems. Not crucify the people them because of your own problem, brother. Cause we are doing make no sense and it's showing. It, it it's showing that you're not making any sense. It has shows that obviously you're not a car for yourself. 
it obvious that you are not following your own rules and regulations and feelings and opinion. Can remember you come from when and tell we say nobody not supposed to force you to take nothing where you don't want to take. And then you come back now and tell people, if you take it, your minister of health are going to tell the people, say, if they want water, then if you take this joke here, And you don't see nothing wrong with that. You don't see nothing wrong with that. Somebody said, why me know so much about Jamaica and I don't want to go home? Because I am situated here. I have to stay here. I have a pending case that I cannot leave. It's not me by choice, don't want to go to Jamaica. I can't. I cannot leave the United States of America because I have pending business with the state. Why not that they understand? Before I get locked up in a Jamaica, I come from when I get locked up in a remember? Why don't I ask stupid questions all the time? I was on a cruise ship coming from Jamaica when I was arrested exiting the cruise ship. You don't? You never hear the story? So it's not that I don't want to go to Jamaica or I don't love Jamaica or I don't want to be a part of the Jamaican society. I have pending issues here in America that I have to deal with. Anyway, you get your little one minute of you. Enjoy yourself. So, what me I say now is people, if the minister was pressured to resign, there are a lot more people who need to resign, including the prime minister. You understand me, I say? Um, and I also... I, I also... Stand by my argument that I said... That I said about a year ago or, or more. See? And I said, I, in my opinion, in my views, as I see it, Andrew Olness is the worst Prime Minister I've ever seen. A lot of people disagreed when I said it first. I know a lot of them not disagreeing right now at this moment. You understand what I'm saying? Um, as a person, I don't know him as a person. Because some can say he's a bad person. Like, when he's off the job, I don't know. I cannot say he's a bad person. But based on the job requirements and the delivery of your jobs and your decision, you are the worst Prime Minister I have ever seen in my life. I am 40 plus years old. You are the worst. That's just me saying that and saying it without an apology. In terms of you being a person, I don't know. I cannot say you're a bad person. I cannot say you're a good person. Okay? I am saying, in the race of prime ministers, best and worst, you are the Shakari of prime minister race. Yes. I said it. Mr. Olness, in the race of Prime Minister business, best or worst, you are the Shakari of politics. Yeah. So, me, first I got set the notion to ask the Prime Minister female resignation and I would ask that people would do the same start making videos asking Mr. Olness to step down as Prime Minister this is my my request, my plea to the Prime Minister please sir step down from the leadership post you are doing a horrible job and we would rather see these mistakes coming from somebody new than you you have proven enough to us that you are not worthy 
of this spot you have been given. It's too much for you. It's too much for you, my boss. So we have, right now, if election call, and then put up Tanto Blacks versus Andrew Owens, Tanto are going to win. If they put up Footer Hype versus Andrew Owens, Footer Hype are going to win. If they put up Twins of Twins versus Andrew Owens, Twins of Twins are going to win. If they put up Ayak TN versus Andrew Owens, Ayak TN are going to win. You understand? No, nah, this is me, Jenna. But respectfully, me think if you step down as Prime Minister and give somebody else to deal with. Kerry Kali, big up yourself. You have a whole heap of member of parliament that they were. Them can get a run at it. At, at. It's like how Bruce stepped down and gave it. Because Bruce realized said too much for him. If L.A. Lewis run versus Andrew Olness right now him win. You understand what I say? So, I just ask you, Mr. Prime Minister, take your foot off of the people, them neck. Please, me I beg you. Um, thus, you can be an MPC, but you know. We not say if you love politics, because you know, we know the perks of come with being a politician. But then again, I'm afraid to do that. Okay, if he's just a regular MP, America can do what they want to do with him. Uh, kind of rough here still, not Andrew. Kind of rough here, but this is where being a leader come in. You have to put the people first. You can't think about your own personal gain alone and make the people them suffer. You understand what I mean, say? You have to put the people them first. And in this case, Obviously, we see say you twist your mouth, you change your mouth, you say one thing in at the beginning. No, you say a totally different thing. You just say anything with the American government say because you have no choice because you're in a problem with America. You understand me? I say so. Instead of suffering the people, brother, step down as prime minister and go and face your problems that you have with the relevant world authorities, them and whosoever. And leave the people out there. The people never do it. We want to go on with it. The people and have nothing to do with it. We want to go on with it. We're getting in a problem now. The people them never have nothing to do with it. So why should the people them suffer? Because a fool no miss up. Why? Why? Why the people empty suffer through what Uno do? Me just I try to understand. You can't dead and willingly know say. You have sacrificed the people, them health and them future and them freedom and them 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 work and them sanity. And you continue to do it knowing say I yourself you try to save. You can't do that, my G. Remember you have youth, remember you have picnic too. Remember you have woman. You see me? If you even save yourself, you know must can save them, my brother. Save the whole Jamaica. Stop making it under that pressure here. Yeah. And I make it look like I this disease here. Yeah. When I just program your attack. I just add as the attack from back of my side, you know. I just program here take from Bakra Master. And we know this. We know this. Stop take program and put up the people them as collateral damage, brother. Cause as we may tell you already people, if it was this serious with this disease, you can't have clean and come in. You can't have ship a come in. You can't have truck a cove a go on. You can't have Duns River a go on. You can't have Margarita Villa go on. You can't have them beach a up mo. And then you lock up the poor people them. Then how oh, is it? So COVID no poor different from rich. Never even want to say that word then. Jesus. So the disease no 
poor are different from rich. So the, the disease, like I said, oh my God, this ship is full of pe rich people. I'm going to stay away from the ship. And then the disease, like I said, oh my God, I love the corner shops. I love Big Zilla Oil. I love it. I love Pona Chicken, but this is where I want to be. That's what you said to me? That's what you're saying to me? So obviously, the video will come out. It's very detrimental to the MP. Him losing position in the party. He must resign. But that video got out because the ancestors, them want the people them to see where I go on. Nobody in there never have a mass. Nobody in there have any mass. And nobody in there was six feet apart. The whole of them, they near one another, cheers and everything. So, where is the protocol? So, what do I say? So, it's true, you say, all I want to do not make no sense. You say, if you go in at the airport, everybody have six feet apart. Check in here for six feet apart. But when everybody go up on the plane, everybody sit on side of one another. Less inches apart. Not even feet. Inches apart. So how it makes sense? The lids are off the people's eyes, Mr. Olness. And I want you to know that Jamaican people, Jamaican people are a very rebellious set of people. No, Mr. Olness, me always seem to talk some something before it happens. I don't know where it come from, but I just have to tell you, Mr. Olness. Please, may I beg you, do not plunge Jamaica into a state of riot. When Jamaican people catch a gear in a rioting in the brother, and a normal something in the jeep, now you have pushed the people them back against the wall. What you think I got at me when you do that, me G? Please, Mr. Andrew Wallace, I am begging you, ease up your foot off of the people them neck before this thing I get out of and No, the same city of my G, them just under a spell, remember words are spelling you know? up. Them of the people them under a spell where the warrior side of them asleep. But it's not dead, brother. It is sleeping, but it's not dead. You do not want to wake up that side of this rebellious nation. So may I beg you, Mr. Prime Minister, please. Please, Mr. Owens, take your foot out of the people them neck go and face your judgment where you have to face by yourself stop sacrificing the Jamaican people the poor class Jamaican people them because of your own thing I beg you me that because when you can't an animal in a lion, a cat, a dog even a bird any animal you can't until them now know where to go. And them free, them all get hurt. You know what they going to do? They must spaz by you. Know? So may I beg you, please, boss man. Please do the right thing. Ease up your foot off of the people, them neck. Or do like Bruce Golden, your mentor. See how gone Bruce and your mentor. See how got dead and gone. May him soul rest in peace. Bruce Golden step down when the pressure gets too much. Please do the same 
follow suit. Stop pressure the people. Stop pressure the people. Them. Have a great day. People, remember Gallus Wednesday tonight. Remember pull up Friday, Friday. Everything good. Big up. Bless.